the unit two of this model uh, looks at uh, e-business. Uh, some people often mistake uh, um, commerce with e-commerce with e-business. Whereas uh, e-commerce uh, has to do with uh, buying and selling, e-business, that's electronic business, it is conduct of business processes on the internet. It includes buying and selling, which is e-commerce. As a matter of fact, the e-commerce is subsumed under e-business. E-business is more embracing than e-commerce. Whereas e-commerce is dealing with buying and selling of products, the e-businesses include supplies and services. It includes servicing customers. It includes processing payments, managing production control, collaborating with business partners, sharing information, running automated employee services. In fact, recruiting. In fact, e-business is uh, quite embracing. Everything the business does is uh, in uh, electronic business. That is the totality of the company's operations and activities are under e-business. Whereas e-commerce is just buying and selling of uh, product. So in conclusion, e-business uh, tactics offer advantages such as uh, reaching a wider customer base and faster transaction. But they also come with uh, risks because uh, when you expose your activity in the internet, the chances of uh, people hacking is there when everything you are doing is uh, in the internet. There are chances of hacking your businesses and the uh, people can uh, steal part of your intellectual property and uh, when everything is uh, on the internet. So in conclusion, e-business, it has uh, made customers, made businesses more embracing, reaching wider scope, covering a lot of mileages, but not with the associated risk. So when people are embarking on e-business, they endeavor to see where to block some of these uh, uh, leakages. Until we meet again. Bye.